population. Mm -hmm. However, the city of Portland mm -hmm. has a very high crime rate. Right. Like, you're not unfamiliar with that. Oh, I know. Yeah. So now you talk about them being short just based on population. Mm -hmm. And you add an extra high crime rate to that. Cops aren't going to be able to respond to everything in a timely manner. No. It's impossible. Yeah, Wheeler, I heard something about Wheeler wanting the state police, wanting the mayor or the governor to send in the state police to do some of the work and stuff. Well, they are helping out downtown. Yeah. Um, actually, if you go downtown during the daytime, mm -hmm. uh, walk around, you'll see some of the bicycle cops now mm -hmm. are state police cops hmm. to help out, especially with some of the drug problems that go on downtown in, in the daytime. Right. There's a lot of just hand to hand drug deals going on. You can mm -hmm. probably see it. Yeah. In the daytime. Yeah. Yeah. It makes me sick because you're sitting there, dude, you're doing your doing drugs in front of a school or you're right. doing drugs in front of a church right. where women and children right. and stuff like that can see it right exactly and to me i think it's disgusting yes sir you know because i when i was a kid growing up i never saw anybody using drugs outside of my school no and i wouldn't want that for any other kid in america no i wouldn't want it either yes sir so, well, I'd like to thank you for your service. Absolutely, sir. Thank you All very right. much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, sir. You've yeah. been very helpful. Because like I said, the only thing I can go by is what I hear on the Internet. 100%. I agree. And what the Internet and what people say is, hey, check this out. Mm -hmm. uh, they're spying on us. They're, yeah. getting our, they're getting credit card information. Yeah. and stuff like that and it's like wait a second they need a search warrant to do that oh not they the fusion sure center do. yeah that's not, yep. yeah, <laughs> absolutely they sure do you know and yeah. and any and of course that again would play into if you want someone's bank information that's irs stuff yeah like that's irs stuff and of course you know they will have to again do a search warrant mm -hmm. do subpoenas and get all that information yeah but you know we're this is this is I don't know, you know this is DOJ so we're state yeah. law enforcement we're not federal a lot of people hmm. confuse us with the United States Department of Justice yeah. we're not we're the state of Oregon Department of Justice oh, okay yeah so we don't deal with that kind of stuff huh yeah so we're not you know the US see we're Oregon oh, okay Department of Justice we're state law enforcement yeah yeah we're not federal oh okay yeah so, you know, all of that stuff, like getting people's, you know, bank information, like, yeah, we're busy with robberies, shootings, pedophiles, mm -hmm. you know, that's murders. That's, that's what we do. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you know, but there was a murder here in Salem mm -hmm. just a few hours ago. I didn't know that. Yeah. So Google it, uh, Southeast Salem shooting. Mm -hmm. There was just a shooting. Um, well, it happened around 1030, but they mm -hmm. caught the guy like around noon. Yeah, I've seen, I seen this uh, SWAT team over by the Capitol yeah. going down the street. Yep. Yeah, I think the guy ran on 22 or something mm -hmm. uh, toward Detroit. Yep. But, so man. that's the kind of stuff that we deal with. Right. We deal with pretty much like the, th the same stuff that local deals with, local law enforcement, mm -hmm. just like one step up. So like if there's, you know... They'll deal with one homicide. We'll deal with a guy that's killed three or four people. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm a cop watcher. I have a cop watcher uh, friend of mine named Chris Ponte that's looking for a serial killer in Port in uh, Clackamas County yeah. right now. The, um, Tell them be careful. Yeah, because um, I think it was two, either two or three of the five ladies that they found. Oh yeah. Um, in Washington at this one barn was uh he knew wow and so he's like hey that person's killing my friends i yeah. want to find that person yeah. that's terrible so that's terrible. and i keep telling him man be careful because the fact of it is, is the guy's probably not going to want to get caught and two um you can easily destroy evidence oh yeah you know um like for instance if this pickup was involved in a homicide and I went in and I started nosing around because I was doing my own investigation. I wanted to collect evidence and stuff. Um, 
any number of bad things. The cops would show up. What are you doing? Well, I'm look. This is this picket was involved in a homicide. I'm digging around in it, finding evidence. Mm -hmm. I'd go to jail. They could. Uh, I could be suspected of the murder. Yeah. Um, and uh, worst when it, case scenario down the line. Mm -hmm. When the guy has a defense attorney, he's going to say, It's gone. Cops, didn't you find somebody else in my client's vehicle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you know he didn't put that gun in my client's vehicle? Right. And and also, also you got a thing of, um, um, due to you're not a law enforcement, due to I'm not a law enforcement officer, um, it's, uh, and I do things wrong. Then the evidence can't be admissible. That's right. That's right. Anything in the pickup would be gone as right. evidence. You couldn't use it. Yep. That's right. You know your stuff. Yeah. You know your stuff. That's. I can tell you've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> I you're, do. you're a smart guy. You know your stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, but yeah, that's what I was. Uh, but I wanted to come out and find sure. out from you guys because I'm tired of hearing people. Oh yeah, man, this is what yeah. the fusion center does. This is what they do, and Not even it's close. like, it's like, wait a second, a uh, search warrant, search warrant, uh, can't do. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. um, I've even heard that. I, I've even heard people say that the fusion center actually gets into people's medical records. Yeah. And it's like <laughs> HIPAA. <laughs> yeah. HIPAA. Yeah. Right. You know. And it's, uh, so yeah, it's, you know, that's what I wanted to do is I wanted to come out and talk to you guys because it's important that the public know what you do. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not always out here trying to spy on all the activists. You're not, no. uh, you we, know. Honestly, the activists are the, we don't have anything to do with them mm -hmm. because here's the issue. Most of them, and mm -hmm. I mean, ninety-nine percent of them have broken no laws. Yeah. There's one percent that f those few bad apples mm -hmm. that decide to start some fires. But at the end of the day, when they do start those fires mm -hmm. in Portland, the DA's decided that no, oh, we're we're not going to prosecute those anyway. Mm -hmm. So why would we pull our time away from homicide investigations? Mm-hmm to do that simple do an investigation get the state attorney general to say if the if the county don't file we will well, well yeah then, just then, depends then you <laughs> I, I want you to go online uh, and do some googling about our attorney general yeah do some googling our attorney general she is extremely progressive right and when it comes to violating people's rights, she will never do that. Mm -hmm. She will never violate a citizen's rights. Even if it means we have to stop an investigation, mm -hmm. if it means we protect someone's civil liberties, mm -hmm. that's gonna be our number one thing. Right. She will never agree with violating someone's civil liberties. Yeah. Ever. Well, she shouldn't. No, no cop in this country should no. be down with violating people's civil rights. You swore an oath to the Constitution. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it's it. So the question is, is your so you gave your word that you would uphold the Constitution of the United States. That's correct. How can you uphold the Constitution if you violate the Constitution? You can't. That's right. Yeah. You can't. So. So I would I would encourage you to read up on our attorney general because that's actually uh -huh. who we work for. So right. state, we're, like I said, we're not federal. Yeah. We're State Department of Justice. We work under the attorney general. Mm -hmm. um, just read some of her policies. She's she's a, a a very very, in my opinion, very good woman. Good. She um, will, like I said, will never agree with violating anyone's rights. Mm -hmm. No, no, uh, no public official, whether they're an attorney general, uh, an attorney that works for the attorney general's office, law enforcement, or anything like that, should should violate anyone's civil rights. You're absolutely right. correct. Absolutely. So, but like I said, I want to thank you guys. I'm glad course, that you. Sir.
gave me this information. Yeah, you bet. Um, I'm not going to ask you for business cards because I know you're probably not going to give them to me. <laughs> no, why, why not? We would totally give you business cards. Okay, can I get your yep, business card? I actually don't have one on me right I now. I left it, mine in my office. <laughs> if you, I'm not lying. I actually left mine in my office. So if you wait right here for two minutes, I will be right back. I'll okay, thank you. I always carry my business cards in my folder. So oh, okay. if I'm talking to somebody for a reason, I got them in there. So you heading back to Portland then, or? Oh, uh, probably. It's getting yeah. late enough. I you get a miss. You're gonna hit the traffic. I know. In Wilsonville, oh, it's too late. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's. I'll probably head back. I had uh, business at the Department of Revenue, so I oh, you did? went over there. And, oh, okay. Um, I had a couple of people hit me up. Well, hit the Fusion Center. You think you're so big? Hit the Fusion Center. I go out. Oh, down there. Or on my YouTube channel. Oh, on your YouTube channel. So okay. I'm like, all right, I'll go out to the Fusion Center. <laughs> Did you say you were down here like four years ago or something? Three years yeah. ago? Yeah. Okay, I think I, I think I might remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Some lady came out and told me that I uh, I can't film here because she goes, you know what this place is? I go, yeah, it's the Fusion Center. And then she goes, uh, you know, you can't uh, you can't film this place. And you can't film me without my permission. I go, you're law enforcement. Yeah, I can. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But she goes, I was a law enforcement officer for 20 years. You can't do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but. Well, hopefully you got all your questions answered. I did. Yeah, there's no big secrets. Uh, everybody that works here is just trying to do good. And, you know. Mm -hmm. Try to do our best. So, well, like I said, I'm I'm thankful that you guys came out and talked. That's what my whole object was. Mm -hmm. Wanted to guarantee you that I was not lying when I said I didn't have one on me. <laughs> okay. I didn't want you to think all oh, those guys claim they didn't have any business cards or anything. <laughs> and you know that's me. I'm yeah, Christopher. That's so. I actually work in the ICAC division. That's Internet Crimes Against Children. You familiar with them? No. Okay, ICAC, Internet Crimes Against Children. We basically investigate pedophiles. All right. That's what we do. We investigate pedophiles. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the big, one of our biggest operations here at DOJ. Yeah. We had a guy, they called him the pedophile hunter that would go around and he was like, I think he was 21. He looked like he was like 14. Yeah. And he would he would get these pedophiles, we'll and, and then we yeah, and then we do yeah. we do things, yep. and the police were called. And the police would say, "Well, there's nothing we can do about it." What? Yeah, <laughs> you know that's that's where we come in. <laughs> you know, we do all of that stuff. Yeah, these guys are busy. Oh, okay. we stay very busy. Well, like which I, is again why <laughs> we're honestly telling you, yeah, we do not spy on citizens. Mm -hmm. We here's another thing. So, do you have do you have a pen or anything? Or I just want you to, or, or at least remember these things. Mm -hmm. Please Google our number of sex offenders in our state of Oregon. Oh, there's a shitload of them. Uh, I think I, I think, I think, I think you'd, be more, you'd be more yeah. surprised. You know, That's right. there is we are number one in the mm -hmm. entire country. We are out of 50 states. We are number one per capita for sex offenders. Mm -hmm. And the scary thing about that number is yeah, Oregon has a small population, only about 4 million people. Mm -hmm. So when you say per capita, okay, that's still a lot, but yeah. how do we compare in sheer numbers to the rest of the country? Yeah, but what is a sex offender? Yeah. I mean, someone so, that's 18 years old that threatened a lady and got charged with attempted rape no, could that's, be... No, that's not a sex offender here in Oregon. <laughs> no, it takes a lot more to be registered as a sex offender here in Oregon. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a lot. So you actually have to be convicted of a sex offense uh -huh. here in Oregon. So, but get this, out of just sheer numbers, we're number mm -hmm. six in the country. We have over 3,200 sex offenders in our state. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. That's a lot. No, I'm sorry, 32,000. 32,000 32, sex offenders in our state. 32,000 sex offenders mm -hmm. in our state. So please, what was your, Robert? Yeah. Robert, I'm, again, I'm Chris Baton. All right. Nice to meet you. Please, sir, understand and believe me. Mm -hmm. Our Fusion Center does not spy on citizens. Okay. Our Fusion Center is busy looking up 
IP addresses for me for people who are downloading child porn. Okay. And busy pulling up past offenses, past crimes mm -hmm. that sex offenders have done. 